Hold it up. Quick battery change. Rebecca just had a horse mackle. And it's gone. There you go. And here we are back on the boat again. Again, it's another day that's quite swelly, not so windy, but spring tides as well. So it's very, very messy. There'll be some big waves out to sea. But unfortunately, this is what happens at this time of year on this side of the coast. You've got all the uh, pressure systems in the Atlantic, and you get all this swelly, horrible weather coming in, which stops you getting out most of the time. Anyway, the tide's going down, so we should stand a chance of uh, doing some bits and bobs. We were going to fish today, but I don't think that's going to happen somehow, looking at the way it is. We'll see when we get out there. The only way we're going to find out is once we get out to the entrances of the bay, and it give us a better idea when we get up that way. Right, so we're just checking our inshore pot. We're going to move this so it'll end up on being on the beach in the next few days with the big tides. You run your hand down the rope as well. Just clear some of that off because that'll act as dragging. That's enough. There's only that top bit really. Yeah, we're going to put it a little bit deeper just, just while the tides start to build. way to do it. It's a shame we've got to move it. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Yeah. Nice lobster that one. Yeah, another one. Good hard shell on that. You can see the white, the white part. Uh, barnacle bits, and there's a gauge behind you. That's not exactly tiny. Yeah, check, check it on the gauge. Just gonna get us out because we're gonna drift back to the rocks otherwise. Yeah, that's size as well, yeah, yeah. Put it on this side. Oh no, take it away. There you go, lobster number two. So four oversized lobsters in two lifts. Not bad. Such a shame I've got to move it. <laughs> Tell you what, we'll move it out and then we'll look at it later when the tide's down and assess whether we can get another drop or two out of that. But I think we do have to move it. A uh, coaches. It's a coaches breed. Oh yeah, I can see the difference now. Pink. Oh, let me let me unhook him. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's a bit wiggler. Coaches on mackerel. There you go. There you go. I'll put it down there, and you can have a look at the colour of it when it settles down. There you go. One coaches breed. So we just got into another fish. Let's see what this one is. This looks like a regular black. Yep, black one. 
a black bream. There you go, we just switched positions so you can see it because the sun's obviously going to be in your eyes. Nice black one. Let's get down there again. Let's see what else we can find. I hope Rebecca's clocked onto something. Hopefully, another bream. Oh, I'm going as well. I'm in as well. I'm going to put the camera down. Oh, it's all chaos. Oh, it's a little cooches, I think. Is it? Or is it black? A bit red when I first looked at it. That's a black one. Black green. He's a bit one. Yeah, he's a little bit. He can go back. But... Another little one. Oh, look at the parasites on this one. We'll get those off before we release him. There you go. Look at those horrible things on the top of his head. Oh. Do you want to, you want to use a knife, get under it with a knife, uh, maybe the blunt one or the bigger one. If you get under and just flick them off because they'll be hooked in quite hard, just be careful of my thingies. See what I mean? And that one, get rid of that one. Let's get rid of those bits if I can. That's like the hooks, yeah. There you go, he's fine. Let him go. Whoop. And away he goes. Perfect. Let's get back down again. Right, Rebecca's into a fish. It looks like a fairly decent fish. What have we got this time? Oh, it's pretty big by the looks of it. Oh, it's, a, it's <laughs> guess what it is? <laughs> Brilliant, look at that lovely fish. Just what we all wanted to see, eh? He couldn't have a day without one, eh? No, look at that, I'm so pleased. <laughs> so there you go, the dogfish. At least it's not swallowed the orc, that's one no, thing. Here we go again. What we got this time? Another oh. one. Another cooches. Little cooches. Look at him. I feel him sliding out my end. <laughs> there we go. Look at him. Ah. Awesome little fish, eh? Yeah, they have got. The yeah, they have got much bigger mouths. Look. Yeah, they're like they've got a mouth like a gilt head, and the same as the the head part is a bit gilt heady. Right, pop him back. He goes down to the depths. Brilliant. Oh, she's at it again. <laughs> What's she got this time? Ooh, that's a bream for sure. I thought I saw another one then, but it might just be me. Black cool, one. little black one again. Well, I'm going to put this down because I'm getting bites, I think. They do come in shoals, so... Yeah, there we go. Little bites of a small one. Here we go again. We got this time. Oh, it's a bit better. Well, that's his thing. So it can't be that commercial thing, look. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, 
There we go. Another nice, nice little bream. Not a bad one, that. What? Bigger than that. It, yeah, I know. It was putting up a heck of a fight, that one. Okay. All we're doing is using little tiny pieces like that of mackerel. We can use bigger, but they hook a lot quicker if it's small. They've got small mouths. We're back in a little bit of wall, but Rebecca's hooked something. Let's see what she's got this time. Ooh, that looks that looks decent. Ooh, that's a decent one. Yeah, that's a lovely one, that. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Nice. So further over to the rock area seems to pay off a bit. Just hold it up so we can get a better look at it. Yeah, lovely one, that. No messing about with that bite either. No. Nah. Yeah. Nice. Yes. It's flattish. Oh, oh, that's a bite. That was a hell of a bite. Yeah, no, Another bream. Breaming's going well. Here we go, another bream. In a different area. It just shows they're everywhere this year. Absolutely everywhere. Doesn't matter where you fish, there's bream. What we got this time? All the black or a cooches or maybe something different. Looks like a black. Looks like a good black. Yep, nothing wrong with that one. Lovely job. So we moved out to sea a bit. But it's something. Oh, it's a bream again. See, they're everywhere. Even out here. I said it was a little one. You could tell by the rattly little bites it gave off. There you go. Another one. <laughs> Gone like a rocket. Right. That's bigger. <laughs> yeah, gonna have a big one. Oh, we've got to go one better. <laughs> oh, actually. Oh, that is a <laughs> That's a surprise. That surprised me. That's only just on as well. Let's have a quick look at your one. We'll take a look at them both in a minute. Oh, heck. What you got on there? What the heck have you got there? Just a really big bream. Get her in. Get it in. Get it in. Oh, 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 oh. now we're talking. That's what, we that's what we call a bream for sure. Yeah, look at it. Lovely. But that's a nice, nice pair. That is a nice pair of bream yeah. there. Look at that. Beautiful. Stonkers. Right, let's get fishing because. Yeah. Although it's nice to film the fish. Got to get on and fish, otherwise we're not going to catch any fish. All oh, my baits are gone there. There we go. There we go. Is it a mackerel this time? Have we got some bait? Fresh bait? Is that other bait getting a bit dodgy? Or is it another bream? It's breamy for me. Another stalker. And she's into another one as well. Look at this. The size of these green. Down there for now. Let's get straight back down. I'll get the camera. Ooh, that looks like a fighter. Ooh, you might have three. You might be getting a bit greedy there, methinks. Yep, you've got a double hookup, for sure. Just get the first one over and get the... 
You got it? Nice. 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 Look at that. Oh, what a cracker as well. Oh, it's oh, off. Oh, that one's off. That is a cracker. I've got to get back to my rod. <laughs> it's all happening. Camera goes down, rod goes up, another fish. Uh, yes and no, it's already marked. What about, look at him, look. I would say yeah, but he's, we're going to put him back, this one. We're going to put anything small back like that. When we're catching, when we're like catching that big, we're going to keep him just that big. And that's a clonker there again. Oh, another good size one. I'm just hanging on these hooks, I'm not upon these hooks, I'm just gonna drop the bait I've got on here. We might show you some of these fish afterwards and when we're done, because when it's like this, it's good fishing. There we go, see? Hey, clear. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Finally got well handed. Another one. Getting bites as well. So I'm just going to go down. There he goes, gone like a shot. Bath of fish. That is a bit of a buster, that one. Oh. Look at the size Look of that thing. <laughs> oh, it's huge. That's the weight behind yeah. that. Wow. I'm gonna put it down. It's a buster, that, <laughs> that is, that's a cracker, that one. That's a nice one to end up with. Oh, 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 oh. She says, I think I might have a buster as well. Oh, what happened? Let go. So there you have it, there's some bream, black bream. These are some of the really big ones we kept. We kept one of the cooches, we put the other one back. We kept the biggest ones, because Rebecca's gonna try it, because she's never eaten cooches bream before. And yeah, it's just a little selection. We put a lot of the fish back actually. We caught around 60 to 70 bream in the end. Kept some of the absolute biggest ones, which are these. And um, yeah, it was a fantastic day out. Right now, the filleting knife is being sharpened up, ready to fill it all these.